Hello everyone, this is Moot, and this is our first episode of our Ages of Eurith Let's Play. I want to give you an introduction to this pretty awesome server, uh, fairly populated, and it's one of the most populated servers on the Worm Unlimited server list. Uh, just to give you a quick introduction, here on the forum they have a posting, so at the Worm forum, or Worm Online forums, and if you come down to the Worm Unlimited section, and you click on Mixed, which is a PvP and PvE server, and you can click on Ages of Your Wrath. All right, you can see more information about here. They have three different maps. They have a PvP. They have a advanced player versus environment with like more unique and harder monsters to kill. Uh, and then Razor has a whole bunch of planned um, mods that he wants to plan features that he wants to implement. Pirate ship trade packs. Bounty system's pretty awesome. And then you can look at all the other mods that are installed. It's um, five time experience points, five time action timer, and five time combat. Uh, if you go to their actual website, which is Razor, Razor's Edge engine.com you can see more on the forums and different members and um, commu uh, you can donate to the server $2100 a year so if you're planning on you know being part of the community want to donate I'm sure there's not a uh, anyone who's gonna tell you not to donate the big thing about being any uh, part of any community is also uh, communicating with them and so you can go ahead and go to the forums, you can introduce yourself, you can read more about the lore and the history and the story plot. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So it's pretty easy, right? We have Worm Unlimited opened up here. You select your player name. I'm gonna use my one of my alt accounts here since I played a little bit on the server. And you're gonna wanna find the server. Either you can click on players and you can sort by the highest list of players or you can go to the server filter and just type in ages. Um, the Laox is the, I believe is uh, one of the islands. So you can't log on to that one, but you can go ahead and double click and log on to this one. So we're gonna, we're gonna log on, see how this is. And of course it's not gonna let me connect on this first try, but that's okay. We'll try another one. Let's try again. Click on ages. And we're connected. Perfect. So, character screen, you might be familiar with that. Male, I'm always a male. It's weird play to feel when I'm a man. Um, but, you know, you do you. So, uh, facial hair, stubby all the time hair on my head. I don't know why it's important to me, but uh, bald. That's about right. Nose doesn't look like that. My face doesn't look like that, but that doesn't matter. So, okay. So, here is the starting area for Ages of Urath, and I think specifically you're actually um, on the island of what island do we start on? The island of Errata. I, Erotica? I don't know. Errata. Um, as you move around, you can go ahead and interact with all the tutorial stuff that comes up. That's fine. But here you're going to find a whole bunch of different mods going on. Um, you can talk to the information guide, receive instructions. We've already went through the whole tutorial with the instructions and we're not going to do it on this server because I already have a video about that. Um, you can go over here and get food, right click on the table, taste, delicious, but I'm full health so it won't give me any more. You can go ahead and talk to different vendors, uh, you can trade, obviously that's part of the game, we can cover that a little bit later, get coin. The big thing that I want to point out is right in the very beginning, right in the very beginning, we're, we need to pick a god. And the reason why is because there's no priest restrictions and we are going to want to have uh, the ability to cast spells. On this server, if you're playing on this map, uh, the map or the island of Errata, 
then you can go ahead and cast all spells. All spells are available to you. Black light spells, uh, white light spells, good spells, bad spells, what have you. Uh, you just have to pick a god to follow. And uh, different gods have different passive abilities. So let's go ahead and start with the oldest one, Foe. Uh, this god here, he's like the god of nature. He's the oldest god. Uh, his passive abilities... Uh, actually, there's a great... Uh, there's a great thing on the worm worm website. Let me show you this since I haven't covered this in the other. If you go to the worm website and you go to game guides, okay, and you can go to WU data mining, and Sin Dusk has go he he has done an excellent job of sifting through the code and talking about all the special things that you know that we haven't known about for a long time specifically we're going to talk about the deity bonus here so the foe the god of nature so to say uh, you get all these benefits the ones that I like the most is that uh, at a certain level uh, if you have 60 faith and 30 favor aggressive animals are no longer hostile to you so it makes it travel a little bit easier when you don't have wolves attacking you or bears trying to attack you uh, Libula, which we won't see in this giant altar, is like the dark goddess, and she has her own abilities. Uh, the big one is that you get 25% increased damage in combat, and then you can have uh, uh, your hunger uh, is your nutrition bar is filled as you stand up on mycelium. Magranon is the god god of war or the warrior god. You get double sacrifice with metal items if people sacrifice locks. Uh, you can walk on lava without being injured. The big thing that people like is they have 25% increased fighting related skills. So your skills, your fighting skills go up a little faster, which is nice. And then you also have a 25% increased damage in combat. Vinora, which is the goddess of knowledge, so to say, you have a 10% increase in skill gain, which is really nice. And then uh, you have a bonus of plus 10 when improving items. So. So that's Foe, that's Magranon, he's a giant Taurus bull, and then that's Vinora, and she's like a, I don't know, a god of made of water. Anyway, so you're going to go here, to this is called the Altar of Three, you're going to right click in the center and you can read their little sermons, and you want to go to the inscription, you want to choose the inscription. Uh, the first one's going to be Foe, uh, the second one obviously is going to be, I think, Magranon, and the third one is Vinora. So we're going to go ahead and choose uh, Foe, and you can go ahead and this is like flavor text if you want to read it. I'm not going to read it, and just say accept. And as you see here in the skills, my faith is now 1, and I have now converted to Foe. So you're going to want to sit here and just kind of pray. And you're going to pray, I think, probably for maybe 15 minutes. And you can go ahead and spam the prayer. And as your faith goes up at 30, you're going to right-click on it and become a priest. And I can go ahead and do that, and we can move on. Well, we'll just go ahead. I already covered that in one of my other videos, so uh, you can go ahead and take a look on how to do that. So this next video, we're going to go... Uh, prepping for the next video I'm going to show you where the public mine is and that's what we're going to start off on my main account it's pretty new I, all I did was pray him up uh, so he has high faith and we're going to go ahead and uh, start in the public mine and uh, make our tools our new tools and uh, just kind of get ready for deed I kind of scoped out a place I want to deed over by the water over there and uh, I think it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. So let me show you where this mine is. You can see here to the mine. I don't know what all these signs. I haven't actually stopped and read all the signs. And we're just gonna go up here, take a left, and go to the public mine. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope that you join us on the server. If you do, go ahead and add me on Steam. You can uh, look for Moot Red. Uh, send me a message. Let me know uh, that you are. Um, subscriber, a fan of my uh, videos, otherwise I might just ignore uh, your friend requests. So, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day.